Hello friends, and I guess this is Vlogtober day one. I was thinking about where I would start off and what video I would do, and then I realized that you haven't even seen the house put together. Plus, you'll be able to see the Halloween decor and all those things, so let's start day one with a little house tour and I'll link as many things down below for you as I can, but let's do a house tour for day one. Thinking about where we should start, we're gonna do entryway um, and then this floor, then we'll go downstairs, then we'll finish upstairs. So this is our entryway. These rugs, this one and the one in our living room are from Target. They're washable, they're amazing. They wear beautifully, they clean easily, I will link them. Much cheaper alternative to Ruggable, but still not incredibly <laughs> cheap, but much cheaper than Ruggable. And I have cleaned both of them and they've both cleaned beautifully, they lay beautifully, highly recommend. I have this blue color and then when we get to the living room you will see a more tan version of it. So I do know we did an empty tour, but this one will now be the complete tour. So when you come up the stairs on this main living floor is a powder room. So let me show you that. It is nothing incredibly fancy, but we have this little setup in here. I got this mat for $10 at Target. So cute. Then a little Halloween towel from Home Goods, a little ghost soap dispenser. And then over here, we have the toilet area. But it's really nice to have this powder room on this main living floor. Quick little update on my decor. All my Halloween decor is brand new this year. The reason for that is when we moved, we were in an Airbnb for a month. So our stuff was in storage for a month, then packed back up and sent here. It got lost and it never made the move. And when we had the movers coming in, it was such a stressful, hot day. And like, there's just so much happening that we were just like, move the decor in there. And I didn't count how many bins went in. My Christmas stuff arrived, but only two of my fall bins arrived. So I'm, I had to replace it this year. So everything you see is new. I will link what I can down below. A lot of it came from Home Goods though, so you really can't link. But that's a little story. I guess we'll find out at Christmas how many of my bins made it. We've also realized as I go to grab something from the kitchen that it's missing as well. So there's been a little bit of replacing happening during these first couple months in our house. Then you enter obviously our main living room. I'm in love with this space and how bright it is. This table was from our old hallway upstairs, but it makes a perfect landing spot here. These Serena and Lily baskets, I have a set of three of them. They're the best baskets. They hold, they keep their shape, they made the move beautiful. And then here I just have this uh, vase from probably Target. These greens have become one of my favorite. Now, to look up close, they are very plasticky, but what I'm trying to get from them, they give exactly what I need them to give. Yes, you know they're fake. Yes, you can tell they're plastic, but it doesn't bother me at all. They have like a nice hang to them. They're easy to shape, they're reasonably priced, they work for me. Then these two houses came from Home Goods. This lamp is from Target, but yeah. And then I just cut the cord off this lamp and I use these rechargeable light bulbs and I love them. They can do an LED shade light or a warm white. Over in this corner is Mabel's Toys. We have this big wide window sill. I have big aspirations for this window during Christmas. You can only imagine. Think about kitchen window on a much larger scale. Then you come into our living room. This lamp we just got because we needed a floor lamp in here. It's from Amazon. Obsessed with it. It is so pretty. And then this is kind of the view from the living room. So couch is still the same, new table. Those spindle tables that we got, love them. Steven got from West Elm this brass and marble like coffee, literally a coffee cup table. We call it the cup table. He loves it, works really well in the space. It's heavy so it doesn't tip or anything. I was just at the farmer's market and picked up this bouquet of flowers. But 
spooky yet classy. The ghost pillows are from Amazon. I'll link those for you. That striped one was just a home goods find. But yeah, couch is holding up, fits the space beautifully. Then here is our fireplace and our frame TV. I just have a little spooky candle art on it right now. But I did my favorite bats coming out of the fireplace up the wall. Then a couple little finds from Michaels. This black chain is from Amazon, super reasonable. The, but the scene stealer here are the ghosts. These ghosts are from Pottery Barn. This one's four feet, three feet, and then two feet. They are so nice. I see lots of people making dupes of them, and you easily could, but there's something about the fabric they use that has like a tattered, gauzy effect. You could absolutely find the fabric, but like doing it with like a plastic sheet or something just doesn't get the same effect. You can see here like the detail of the fabric is what sold me. They light up. I love them and the black lanterns just accent it all so well. Over here is what I call my record shelf. It typically just houses our records, but I found these little cute monsters at Home Goods and this framed art of spooky candles as well. But this really is just stacks of books, records. I play my record player all the time. This is the best record player for a reasonable price. I love it. It has withstood a couple years now and I still love it as much as the day I got it. That's kind of the scene. We added the mirror that used to be over our fireplace. So this is kind of the living room. And this staircase is so similar <laughs> to our old New York house. There are lots of things that remind me still of the old house. Then we come into our kitchen and dining room. These stools holding up so well, they were a desperate target find because our furniture was delayed, <laughs> but we really love them and they fit the vibe that we wanted to go with. Then this is our walk-in pantry. That ruggable rug that you guys saw me buy in New York, I just love it. I love the character, the whimsicalness of it. I love the colors. But everything is pretty, pretty simple. We have some little Halloween happening around but this is kind of how the kitchen came up. And people were like, oh my gosh, your kitchen is smaller, but actually it stored everything because our cabinets go the whole way up to the ceiling and the island is full of cabinets. The pantry is quite large. So I actually was able to fit everything in here. Now, one thing we did resize is our table. So normally I would have both extenders on the end because our dining room is bigger. This dining room could obviously fit it as well, but we did take them off just because now we don't have as many guests coming over for dinner because my whole family is here and we'll go to my mom's or my sister's and when we're all here, we're all kind of gathered in this space. So we just saved us a little bit of room and took off the dividers. And then that's probably my favorite spot in the house. I love our little beverage and coffee center. So in our drawers, I keep, we're running low. We're expecting a delivery. We accidentally delivered our coffee to our old New York house. So we replaced it with a new delivery that's coming. But I keep those Nespresso pod organizers. Those were from the old house. I love them. They are so nice to have. So travel mugs, K cups, things like that are all stored down below. And then this is where we kind of let seasonal things take place. I hung these Amazon hats just with T pins. They go straight into the ceiling and leave very little mark that you could fill very quickly with white, um, like plaster filler or nail filler. It's a dream. It's the easiest way to do it. And then just add some cobwebs, some old Goodwill plates, some home goods finds, but just love how this whole area looks. Once again, huge plans at Christmas. This house lends itself to some architectural things that I cannot wait to mess around with. Like imagine what I could do with that window at Christmas. That's the main floor, so let's go downstairs and I'll show you 
a little bit more. All that main living space is on the second floor, but this is our first floor. In the city, it's really hard, especially where we're at in the city. We're in one of the most popular neighborhoods. It's really hard to get a garage. Not that in North Carolina you need it, but we're built on three levels and our fl first floor holds some living spaces, but also mostly holds a two car garage. This is my new car. Many of you haven't seen it. Let me turn on a light. It's a pretty rare color that started only in Europe with a white interior, black wheels, love it, but it will be my last Tesla for reasons I will leave to myself, but will be our last Tesla. Large storage closet over there. Steven's out with Mabel. This is also a huge storage closet that goes under the stairs. This is really the space that we enter every day when we come home. So we have like a whole mudroom cabinet. Steven and I each have our side. Mabel has a towel for when it's raining. Ignore my shoe shenanigans down here. I need to reorganize my shoes a little bit. But have a nice little entry table. Steven and I each have a drawer. We drop off our keys, our things, wallets, such as that stuff. But did a little fall decor here. So we have some wicker pumpkins that are from years ago. These did make the move. Another series of bats flying across the mirror up into the corner. Some webbing around the mirror. A big cauldron I got at Target. But this is kind of the entry when you come in. This is one of my favorite spaces in the house. I have a lot of them, but this is one I love how this gallery wall took shape. It's literally <laughs> collected from Target because you'll see I did another gallery wall that had some of my like more precious pieces that I've kept and gathered at antique stores, but they just all went together so well. They're not from one particular collection. I found all like the variations I needed and I just love that this hallway is lined with some framed art. And then the runner from the old house just blends in so well with that vibe. Then you come into our home gym and Steven's office as well. He wanted his office down here. So it was a lot quieter for Zoom calls and stuff because back there is just our fenced backyard and back patio. So here's the largest Serena and Lily basket. And this just houses a lot of my workout equipment, like all my P-Valve stuff fits in there, everything fits. Then I have my treadmill, which I love and I've been running so much. And then just some fun art and signs. Back here are my adjustable weights, Busu ball, um, a, uh, an incline, a roller, just things that I would need, my big yoga mat. This is another huge walk-in closet. And then this is Steven's desk area. We found this mid-century desk. I forget the designer now. It's a very popular mid-century desk. We found it at um, South End Exchange, which is a like a luxury consignment store here in the city. Love it. And then I got him this leather mid-century office chair for one of his birthday gifts. But he loves his setup down here. It stays so nice and like cold down here. Even on the hottest days, we don't even turn the air conditioner because each floor is zoned with a different air conditioning unit. We don't even turn it on down here. But this is his little office area. This is obviously able to be used as a um, bedroom. There's a full bath down here as well, which is really pretty. The tiling is really pretty. They built like a niche for like your soap. But this is down here. It's really nice in the morning to have a bathroom when you're working out. So this is kind of, or not kind of, this is the downstairs floor. Like I said, most of it is our garage. Coming up to our third floor, this is another gallery wall that is a mix of some Target finds, I think three of them, but then some antique prints and framed art that I've picked up at antique stores and I love them. So on our third floor, we have three bedrooms, one which is converted to my office 
But in here is just a guest bathroom. It's all done. Typically where I'll take my bath and chill out. Our laundry closet is here on the third floor, which is nice. We have a really big size linen closet. This is the guest room we're using. Like I said, the only company we'll have now is really Steven's family when they visit, so we didn't need a ton of space. We have air mattresses that we can set up in other rooms, but we really need just one guest room. Lots of familiar pieces from the old house. That actually was our dining room buffet. I wanted something in here like that could be used as a dresser, store extra bed linens. It actually works perfectly for that. This is <laughs> one of my favorite spaces. So this is my office. I did a little gallery wallet to blend my monitor in. Same bookshelves. I did get a new desk and new chair. This desk is from Pottery Barn. I love the woven detail in the front. Same shelves I've always had. This rug, an Amazon find, it's so good for the price. Same couch from my old office. I have a walk-in closet there. This picture we found at my mom's house. I had it blown up. It's my grandma reading a book. <laughs> and I had it blown up, had it retouched, and then I had it matted and framed. But little clothing rack. I usually do my clothes for the work week here. Iron, press them on Sunday, hang them up by day. So all my clothes are organized, my luggage is there. But this is my little home office. Then over here is our primary bedroom and there's our primary bath and our walk-in closet, it's all in that area. So here I wanted to do something different. Instead of a large rug, I decided to do two runners and I really, really love that option. We already had those nightstands. We did purchase the dresser to go with them. Here are more of those green leaves that I showed you from Amazon. It's really clean, really simple. Lots of similar art from the old house. I added this covering and quilt just for fall and replaced the pillows just to warm it up for the fall season, <laughs> Mabel's water bowl over in the corner. But that is this space up here. I also forgot to mention on the second floor off the kitchen, we have like two really oversized swivel chairs and a table for coffee in the morning. And then it's all like private from trees. It's really wonderful. That is the home all set up. We are loving it. One thing that we've really realized is our old house was over 3,000 square feet. It was really large for just the two of us. This comes in around 27 and it feels really good. I actually think we could go a little smaller, but the space feels really good. I was nervous like storage wise and all that, but it actually worked out. And I am so grateful that we sold and donated so many things before our move because it made this move so much simpler and we really moved with the things we loved and replaced the things um, with new things that we really like that fit this vibe but we are very very happy here i'm the happiest i've been i'm gonna fill you in on that stuff during vlogtober as well but just wanted to start with a house tour so there you have it my friends day one of vlogtober wrapped up